All right, what you gonna do? What is it? Prey upon target creature you control fights target creature you don't control. So, okay. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh, you're pumping up your guy. Oh, and you're targeting my. Oh, I see what you did there, jackass. <laughs> Hello and welcome, Dirty William here, back with another episode of Magic Duels, the Cardboard Crack Addiction. Uh, still in Origin, still playing that stuff. Well, let's see, uh, last time we played Liliana, started her campaign, and uh, we're going to continue on with her, because why not? Um, boop, start with this guy. You discover that this plane is called Innistrad. Here you embrace the dark magic of necromancy in an effort to conquer death, which same came so close to con uh, claiming you. Talk much. Brimming with new power, you encounter the home of a hermit witch, a perfect opportunity to test your abilities. So, some poor old lady's living out in the woods by herself, and I decide that I'm going to go and do necromantic stuff to her. That doesn't sound very nice. Doesn't sound very nice at all. I play first. Uh, let's see, we've got two swamps. I uh, could lay down a couple of those guys, and good lord. I'm going to try again. Thank you. Oh, super. Uh, what is that? Additional cost, sacrifice a creature, destroy target creature. That's not bad at all, in conjunction with Black Cat to get rid of their stuff. Am I going to draw any land, though? That's the trick. Ew. Uh, draw a new hand. See what happens. Bunch of land and a goblin. Ugh. Okay. Whatever. We'll do that. Play that guy. 1-1 one, one goblin whenever... It says shambling goblin. Okay, it's different than festering goblin. Hmm. Festering goblin is another card that I liked in the core sets that they no longer have, which is disappointing. Oh, she's green. She's going to pump out all kinds of beefy monsters, and I'll have to destroy them. Or try to, if I get any cards in hand. Yay, more land, just what I need. Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, we'll go ahead and attack with our one guy. Why not? I don't think they're going to have any kind of... Ins unless they want to play giant growth on the guy. <laughs> I don't think they're going to do that, though. Probably not. Another forest from my opponent. And... Play a thing. Uh, let's see. A 2-2 two, two elk. Pay green, sacrifice it, search for a basic land card, put it on the battlefield, tap the shelf or library. Good. So it can block, and then it can go get you a land if you pay one more mana. Eh. Have to sacrifice it. Good, more land. <laughs> the bed. Really? Um, sure, I'll go ahead and attack. Confirm. If he blocks, I'm going to do one damage to it, and then I'll, whenever it goes to the graveyard, I'll give it minus one, minus one, minus one. You know, I wouldn't block either. That'd be dumb. That'd be just stupid to do. Of course, I'll be taking two on the next turn, but whatever. Another land, and attack. And I'm going to take two, because I don't have anything at all. Damage. Yep. <laughs> Sounds like a horse. Uh, what's next? Dark Thicket Wolf. A 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh, pay 2 and a green. Dark Thicket Wolf gets plus 2, plus 2, and in a turn activate only once per turn. So it's kind of like a... What's that mongoose thing? I don't know. Kind of like that. Only it's not discard. Well, whatever. It's a pump effect. You can only use it once. Bleh. Well, another Gravedigger. That's fun for me. Um, no. Uh, why would I cast Gravedigger right now? I don't have any creatures in my graveyard. Attack with all! My army of one. Goblin doing work. Sure, it'd be nice to draw into some, like, removal or something like that in this deck. Yeah, of course you're not going to block that. You'd lose one of your guys. That'd be dumb. Uh, no, not playing one of those guys just yet. Although, probably this turn, this upcoming turn, I will have to because I have no board presence at all except for a goblin. But that's what happens when you mulga down, mulgan down too much. Um... I know that I could restart the duel so that I get a better hand, but it's kind of fun for me to see how... Just go ahead and continue. Thank you for hitting me in the face. It's kind of fun to see what can be done with the decks, what's in them. Festerhide Boar, Trample, 3-3. Uh, three, three. 
enters the battlefield with two 1-1 counters on it if a creature died this turn. So... Hmm. I just wonder if... Uh, well, no, that would be died this turn. Couldn't really have uh, blocked my guy when I was attacking. Tip, trample. Uh, don't show it again, because I know what trample is. Any damage that would uh, spill over from a blocking creature goes to the uh, defending player. Destroy target non-creature, non-zombie creature. Can be generated. Turn up to one zombie card from a graveyard hand. I don't have any zombie cards in my graveyard. That's a very high cost removal spell, but at least I could technically destroy that guy. Um, and at this point, if I attack, he can block with this with no problem. So let's go ahead and cruel revival and go ahead and destroy that guy. Even though I don't have any zombies in my graveyard, I'm not going to get the other effect from that, which kind of stinks, but whatever. I'm just piddling around here right now, hoping to draw something, like that uh, the cat would be nice, just to get some cards out of his hand, or maybe a destroy, you know, sacrifice a creature. I would, I would love to sacrifice this shambling zo goblin to be able to draw a couple cards right now and draw into something halfway decent, but... Yeah. Maybe I should just keep this guy on defense. Maybe that would be a thing. Oh, God, what are you doing? Tapping stuff. Oh, he's uh, he's giving... Oh, good. And I'm going to be all kinds of hurt. He's played a giant growth. So I'm going to be hit in the face for nine damage. Ugh! Now I'm down to five. This is not looking good for the home team here, folks. That kind of sucks. Hope I draw a land. No? Oh, okay. Um... Yeah, at this point, I've got three grave diggers in my hand. I don't, I can't really do a whole hell of a lot. Now I'm gonna play defense. He's gonna be able to pump that uh, that guy up even more. Um, no, I'm gonna go ahead and skip my attack. I'm gonna play defense for a minute because I can trade with one of these guys at the very least, suck up the damage so I'm not dead next turn to another giant growth. All right, what you gonna do? What is it? Prey upon target creature your control fights target creature you don't control. So... Okay. Oh god, what are you doing? Oh, you're pumping up your guy. Oh, and you're targeting my... Oh, I see what you did there, jackass. What a jerky combat trick. Um... Block. Yes, block that guy, please. Confirm block? Yes. And then I'm going to destroy it with... Give it a, like a minus one, minus one, and turn the turn. Uh, that creature can get a minus one, minus one until end of turn. Thank you very much. All right, so now he's got a two-two, and I've got yeah, another one of those guys. Woohoo! Do I have enough uh, mana to pay for both of these? I guess I do. Actually, I could grave digger, and then throw both of those guys out. Um, <laughs> grave digger for grave digger for grave digger. It's grave digger inception. Um, yeah, we're gonna pick that guy and play both of them. Play. I'm playing the thing, can I not... Oh my god, just hurry up and go. Do the timer thing. There we go! Alright. Slightly better. I can't attack, so there's that. Wait, what did he... Oh, he sacrificed it to get a land. Oh, okay. I don't know why you did that, but... Um, can't be can't be blocked except by creatures of flying or reach. A 2-2. Two -two. Alright. So I can't block that, and I can't block that either, so I'm going to be dead next turn. Wah, wah, wah. Please draw something. Uh, sacrifice creature and draw two cards. Well, uh, it's an instant, so how about we do this? We will continue. Attack with everything. Confirm attack. You going to block anything? Nope. I guess I don't have a... There we go. Let's do that. Sacrifice him. To get that, a minus one, minus one. At least draw two cards. Maybe I'll draw into some more removal. That would be nice. Uh, Vengeful Dead. Cost four. Whenever Vengeful Dead or another zombie dies, each opponent loses one life. See, I gotta get rid of this thing. I'm screwed. I am completely boned this turn. Uh, what do I got in my graveyard? I don't have any, even have the, uh, yep, I'm just, I'm dead. I'm dead, 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 because there's no way. 
because um, these can only be blocked by creatures with uh, flying or reach, and neither of my guys have flying or reach, and this guy does not, and that guy does not, and I think my graveyard has it, and even if I was able to bring something back, yeah, I'm just screwed. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, but that's what happens when you mulligan down to five and don't have jack. What is this? Grave Tiller Worm. Trample, Morbid, enters the battlefield with four 1 1 counters on it. Holy crap. <laughs> really? Wow, that seems like a pretty damn good card. And I'm dead because I can't, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Damage! And Liliana, Liliana messed with the Green Witch, and this was what happens. That's crap. She's cutie, though. Very, very cute. Even if she died. Even if she's like 900 years old, like it says in the books or something. <sighs> I have been defeated. Once again, unsurprising. All right, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Until next time, this is Dirty William doing the dirty work.